Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. As you saw the unbox, I unboxed the Intel Core i3-10105 processor. This is a great processor as it has two main advantage over i3-10100F. Um, Many people in their videos, I saw that they're recommending i3-10100 processor. And the reason that they re Recommending this processor is that the price is a bit cheaper right here. It says $120, but that's for before right now the price of uh, i3 10100 and 10100F the price for them is $89 to $94 Depending on your location from micro center you can get it for $89 and some places I saw it even as cheap as $69 However, whereas this one in New Egg is $129 currently, but on other places like Micro Center and other stores, you can get it for $100. And I think this one is way greater uh, over 100, uh, 10100 and 10100F because it has two main advantage that other people, they just don't look at it and they just look at the price. And I will tell you what are the advantages. Uh, first of all, um, this one is a more powerful one. It's 3.5 gigahertz, the clock speed, which you can overclock it up to 4.3 gigahertz. Everything else is the same, but it has two advantages. And the advantages is one of them is that this one which comes with a uh, much newer Intel fan. Uh, for the other one, the Intel fan that comes with it is an old Intel fan that you definitely have to change it because it does not maintain your uh, processor temperature at the correct temperature. And it doesn't look good if you have a modern tower that you can see through it. And the thermal piece on that one is not good either. However, Intel in this one came and fixed the issue and included the great design fan inside here um, that has good thermal paste on it and maintains your uh, processor temperature. So that's one of the advantage. Another advantage that this one has is yes, this one comes with an integrated graphic. And uh, it comes with the Intel UHD graphic 630. And you may think, uh, okay, I have a GPU, I have a 6600, a 6600 XT, I have a 6700, or I have a 3060 Ti, 3070. Why do I need an uh, integrated graphic? And the answer is that once you do intense gaming, or you're using editing program, or you're even doing mining, uh, what happens is that you're using 99% of your GPU, sometimes even 100% that I personally use 100% of my GPU. And what happens is that once you're using 99% of your GPU, your GPU simply can't handle Windows loading Windows 2. So, uh, and if you overclock, your Windows will crash or your any operating system will crash or it will get very slow and unstable. I tested out with four or five different GPUs, the integrated i3 versus the non-integrated i3. And I found out that the integrated i3 is perfect because what it does, it loads Windows. So Windows is with the integrated graphic, loads with integrated graphic. And now you're doing gaming with overclock setting. You're using 100% of your GPU. That doesn't matter. Your Windows will not crash. Your operating system will not be unstable. Why? Because you're loading it with your integrated graphic. So that's the main advantage that I'm talking about. Uh, you have a, a stable PC that you can overclock and do anything you want with it. Another thing with this one is it's Windows 11 supported and so you don't have to do any update on your BIOS, you don't have to do anything and right up you can boot into Windows 11 without having any problem and I found out that with overclocking this one's much more stable even overclocking the CPU itself 
and this one's much more stable. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. Other than this, thank you so much for watching this video and have a great day.